Look, we both know the internet is loud and can feel defeating when wanting to share your soul and service. The internal dialogue turns up saying, what's the point? It's a valid question when it comes to expression, building an audience and keeping their attention. For what? While some voices add little value by being a victim, trawling social media due to self-pain. Many share wisdom worth spreading. Every voice matters. Want proof on why going in on at least one social media platform? Employers hire based on your social media. Creators hire based on your social media. Brands hire based on your social media. Clients hire based on your social media. And customers buy based on your social media. Social media is a necessity of modern life. It is virtual reality. It is a digital society. It is the new economy. It is a modern day addiction. It's less about quantity, but it's the process. The game is in the gain for cultivating your, your confidence, authority, and compassion. After 24 years of being a polymath entrepreneur, I've learned this. Everything comes to resonance pertaining to both personal and business growth. Missions are not served if we remain a wallflower. Start with this exercise. Take the Socratic method. Question everything. Step one, try to come up with common myths. Step two, take a look at these myth truth sandwich to see if they're helpful. Patience is a virtue. People say patience is a virtue. You know how people say they're going to make content, but they wait or take so long actually doing it because they're too patient. Truth is, you should be impatient with your actions, but patient with the outcome. Practice makes perfect. People say practice makes perfect. You know how when you practice a sport or instrument without the proper form, you can actually develop a bad habit? Truth is, practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect. Two heads are better than one. People say two heads are better than one. You know how in a job project with two different bosses giving you two different directions can be a failure because there are too many cooks in the kitchen. Truth is, two heads are better than one as long as they're not both trying to lead. Don't judge a book by its cover. People say, don't judge a book by its cover. You know how when you watch a movie, you can kind of tell the good guy from the bad guy just by looking at them? Or you can kind of tell if someone will be detail-oriented or very sloppy based on how they dress at a job interview? Truth is, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but know that others are judging you based on your looks. Actions speak louder than words. People say, actions speak louder than words. You know how sometimes you see an amazing product or work done by someone, and you tell yourself, this is so underrated because they're too shy to market or promote it. Truth is, Actions speak louder than words, but actions plus words speak even louder than just actions alone. Kill two birds with one stone. People say, kill two birds with one stone. You know how sometimes you're trying to combine work trip with vacation and you end up not getting any work done or having any fun either? Truth is, you might lose both birds by trying to kill them with one stone. There are countless people with ideas, ideas that have the potential to change the culture, move it forward to somewhere better than it is now. But ideas need leaders. Without leaders, ideas are left to either sit stationary as they are or bounce around aimlessly and hope that someone else will recognize their value and lead them where they need to go. With patience and purpose, 
not panic and pitchiness, will reach those meant to be reached. Our voices deserve to be heard, but only when we speak their language of wisdom, not wasted words. Chin up, friends. With harmony, not hubbub, our gems will gather all the attention deserved. Now go get your thread on.